Okay, well, welcome to um, Digital Learning Day through Millville Public Schools. Uh, our hashtag is MPSWC, Millville Public Schools World Class. So I'm really excited today because there's a bunch of different uh, folks from our district that are going on and participating in Digital Learning Day, all the you know, sharing different things that are going on throughout, you know, our schools, through the district. So I'm really excited about this. I want to thank Lauren Daigle and Alicia DeCepola for uh, coordinating all this. So what I'm here to talk about today is how do you tell your school story utilizing social media, whether it be uh, Twitter, blogging, Instagram, Facebook. So I'm going to go through a couple of those today. I will also take some time to go and do some screenshots and uh, actually get into you know how to really engage uh, your school community as you use these platforms. I know a lot of people, um, you know, even to this day, is as big as social media is, there's so many people who are hesitant about uh, utilizing social media. There's certainly uh, positive things that are going on there, and there's also a lot of negatives. So I will say that you know, as the principal, you know, I do think it's our it's it's part of our job to tell our school story. So how do you do that? You know, traditionally we did that through, you know, PTA meetings, uh, newsletters, uh, assemblies, you know, uh, parent nights, things like that. But as you can tell, you know, as, as times have changed and as uh, social media has grown, we have the opportunity to capitalize on something that is very small and can fit into your pocket and uh, gives you access to everything you know in real time. So I think it's extremely important that we utilize social media uh, to you know engage our parents, to teach students the um, you know proper way to do digital citizenship, and to really just tell our school story and make sure that our community is engaged. And that and the cool thing about it is that it's you, it provides you real data. So for instance. Um, you know, if you were in a meeting and you were talking about, you know, how do you engage parents? You know, you could say, well, at our last PTA meeting, you know, we had six people. We had, um, you know, our, our um, anti-bullying night and we may have had, you know, 10 people that showed up and you have signatures and things like that. But, you know, as you, as you know, people are busy and there's different things that are going on, you know, in their lives. So if they are somewhere out and about, they can connect with you anytime. When you look at utilizing data to support social media, the things that I'm going to show you today have increased our reach uh, infinitely. Uh, there's so many different ways that we're able to reach, you know, the community. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, share my screen real quick. And I'm going to start with, uh, for me, where it all started uh, was, is Twitter. Um, Twitter, as you know, is a, a microblogging uh, site that connects you, you know, with all people throughout the world. Uh, as a principal, I, I use this to learn uh, from my, you know, from my, my own professional development. It, I've been able to connect with people throughout the um the world and, and become a better principal by just getting the information that they're sharing with me and um, and then be able to connect with other schools to find out different things that are going on. So uh, right now I brought up our hashtag MPSWC, that's Millville Public Schools World Class. So um, right now I can take a look to see, you know, who's utilizing the hashtag throughout our district. So. I can see right now that our uh, our senior high has uh, you know some advertisement coming up for their uh, their musical, uh, which is April 11th, 12th, and 13th. So I want to show them a little love. I'll definitely retweet that, give them a heart. Here's my buddy uh, Brian Robinson over at uh, Rick Avenue, and he is uh, reading you know, to students. So once again, when you look at now. I would have known that prior to, to being involved in social media that, you know, there's Dr. Robinson over there, you know, reading to kids. And um, the power of this, too, is that, you know, the, the, the kids, you know, have this now. Um, the parents have access to that so they can see the cool things that are going on over there. 
you know, and obviously uh, our participation in Digital Learning Day, uh, which is, you know, definitely it's something that's trending on Twitter right now. There's a lot of people talking about it. Uh, so Alicia uh, Decepla put this out. So I'm going to retreat this. This is our assistant superintendent. She kicked off the Digital Learning Day today with an inspirational webinar. Um, so like I said, this is a great way for us to connect with each other and then just connect with uh, others throughout the um, throughout the world. I um, I think it's extremely important uh, that we utilize this, you know, in the proper way. I'm going to switch over here to talk a little bit about blogging. Um, I'm a big fan of having a school blog. Uh, I spend uh, a few hours each week working on blogs. I think that, um, you know, in a sense, they are the modern day newsletter, but as I was mentioning earlier, there's so many different ways that you can use them. You can make sure that you're engaging people with them. You're telling your school story. And then, and then also you're able to, you know, provide the data that supports this. So uh, I started here about three years ago. I'm actually coming up on my third year anniversary. And uh, one of the things that staff said here was that, you know, we had, a, you know, we, we didn't have a social media presence and we, we weren't capitalizing on the things that were going on. So we made the, the Lakeside Lightning Round uh, school blog. Um, and I'm going to show you some data on that, but it's been uh, seen over 100,000 times since its inception. So each week I, uh, I send out an email to the teachers asking them if they want to submit anything to the Lightning Round. I feel like it is my responsibility to do it, so I coordinate all that. Um, they send me pictures, they send me videos, they send me, you know, anything that, um, you know, that really is is needed to make sure that we are telling our, you know, our story. So, uh, for instance, if I just take a look at this week's, um, we are we are highlighting uh, our musical that's coming up, Beauty and the Beast. That's March first and second. Um, I always start out with our theme, and this year it's all about respect, the different things that are going on throughout the, um, the school, uh, access to our daily announcements. Um, I did a promotional video uh, featuring the things that the kids uh, wanted to highlight, um, just to, uh, once again, draw interest into our, into our school. I always include some pictures. Um, each week we have a winner of the week. This week I was able to highlight the eighth grade dance committee. They, ho they hosted a dance. They raised over a thousand dollars. That was the picture at the end. So they had an awesome time. And then there's just a weekly overview. Um, as you can see here, uh, the week before, you know, we're highlighting learning that was going on. We had chefs, uh, that came in from an organization, um, called, um, wellness in schools. So they came in and they taught our kids uh, about healthy eating, about how to make different things, and they actually cooked in the classroom. So, and you know, as the principal, I can't necessarily do all these different activities. So what I always do is I ask the staff to, to share them with me. As I mentioned earlier, um, we had, um, we're fostering a partnership with our, our neighbor at the Genesis uh, Geriatric Center. And uh, so then there you see a picture of some of our students working with uh, the folks over at Genesis. Um, you know, and then as you go through here, you'll see, you know, a bunch of different pictures from the events, uh, highlight our sports teams, you know, all the different things that go on. And the parents really appreciate this. Uh, we send it out each week and we utilize uh, Twitter, Facebook, our email system to make sure that we get that information out to the parents. When I, when I hop over to Facebook, I'll show you that sometimes they actually, um, the parents share it with each other uh, if they see that their, their son or daughter was highlighted. Once again, we always do a winner of the week. Uh, you know, last, the week before, uh, one of our students had a painting selected for the Cumberland County uh, Youth Art Month, a Youth Art Show uh, up in Trenton. So this is just really great stuff. And there's so many different things that go on throughout the day here. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll be honest with you, there's so much material, it's really hard for me to pare it down um, because you know it's an opportunity for us to, to highlight the great things that are going on. Um, parents 
at the feedback that I've received, they really enjoy it. Um, it's something that they can read, you know, on their phone, you know, when they're doing something else, and they can quickly be updated as to everything that's going on, you know, throughout this, the the um, the school. I also encourage that our teachers, I, and I encourage any teacher to to start their own blog for their classroom because once again, you can get your information out that the the parents will be able to, you know see in real time the different things that are going on you can then you can start having students write for you know your blog uh, there's so many different ways that you can do it but i just show you right here um so this is the blog archive um just kind of highlights all that so all that stuff is out there uh, if ever, anyone wanted to see like you know what's been going on here maybe they're new to the area and they're they're checking out to see if they want to send their child to our school or another school you know, here's all this information that's out there, you know, about our school. We have a link to our calendar. Um, on here, our daily announcements. Uh, this is really cool. We use MailChimp for this. So we encourage parents to sign up for daily announcements. So every day a message go, is going out to our parents. And it's the same message that the kids are getting here. Uh, we have a wonderful PTO that's very supportive of our school. So that is highlighted here. And then any of the clubs and activities that are going on, we highlight there. Um, we have our updated information from the park and all that. So it's much different than a website in the sense that it is specifically for us. Uh, we track all the, you know, the, um, the traffic that's coming in. And um, with blogs, you know, you're able to make, you know, comments and, and things like that on there. So it really makes it more interactive. So um, we found that, that it really is an awesome way for us to, to work on our, our outreach. So I'm gonna go into the design real quick. It's very simple. You know, when you start one of these, there's so many different platforms that, out, that are out there. We chose to use uh, Blogger, but there's EduBlogs has a great platform, WordPress. There's so many different ways that you can, you know, create a blog and um, there's so many different you know, formats out that make it really easy. So uh, I'm going to go over here to our stats. So as you can see, uh, all time, which is something that I like looking at, we have 112 um, page views all time. Um, you can see like the anatomy of a week when people are interacting with us. Um, I usually send something out over the weekend that highlights you know, the new blog post that's going on. So you can see that um, Sunday was, was a big day for, for our traffic. And then the other thing that's cool, uh, like I was saying before, when you're looking at to, you know, justify why you want to do this is, um, is the data that, that, that shows. Um, it can tell you the different page views. It tells you the audience. And it also tells you the traffic site, uh, it's traffic sources which I think is very helpful too, because we see that a lot of our parents are on Facebook and that's where a lot of our um, audience comes from. Uh, our audience comes from the links on Facebook. Any of the students, and I know this, this comes up a lot, any of the students that are included in the blog um, are, they, we make sure that they are uh, clear, that they are allowed to have their picture out on the web. Uh, most of the time, honestly, when I take pictures or the, the teachers take pictures, um, we try to not even take face shots of the kids. It's just, it's much easier to just um, capture the learning and capture uh, the learning process as opposed to focusing on kids in case we don't know if somebody has their, um, you know, their, their form in, but we do make sure to, to, to check that. Um, I'm just gonna pop over here to like look at our month. So, you know, in the last month, I mean, it's the, it's the end of the month, and this is something that I look at and I do share with the staff. We had you know, 1,800, you know, page views over this time. Um, you could take a look at, you know, over here, like by, by our posts. So we're averaging over 200 page views each, each time that we put it out there. So I think that's, you know, that's really justifying, like, listen, that information is getting out there. People are engaging with it. Um, so, like I said before, one of the one of the big ways that we get out to our audience is on Facebook. Um, this is our Lakeside Middle School uh, official Facebook page. It is um, we have 
I think over a thousand people who like us, um, you know, and that obviously changes as you go from uh, year to year because uh, after they leave us, uh, they don't always stay connected with us. So we uh, make sure that we are, um, you know, that we are out here, um, you know, recruiting people to, you know, when new sixth grade teachers, or I'm sorry, new sixth grade students and parents come in, you know, we talk with them about, you know, the ways that we connect with each other. Uh, and like I said, one of those is through Facebook. So um, after I finish the blog, I go over to Facebook and I post it there so you can see, you know, um, at 9.43 p.m., I guess that was on Sunday, I finished up, here's the latest Lakeside featuring, you know, and I just put a quick blurb on there featuring uh, promo video uh, of Beauty and the Beast and Winners of the Week. So I can see that it reached 738 people. There was 111 people that engaged with it. Uh, we had two comments, seven shares. So people were actually sharing, uh, as I said before. So that's how the word continues to spread, the good word that spreads you know, about our school. Um, earlier, I had just put out the video that was a promo video for our um, Beauty and the Beast that was coming up. As you can see, that reached 1,700 people with 255 engagements. So this, and there's 20 shares. So that is really helpful when you look at how does a school connect, you know, with their community. I think it's extremely important to, to leverage these. Now, um, I don't have it on my desktop here. But I will say that we we do utilize. Uh, we're going to flip back here. So we do utilize uh, Instagram as well, and we utilize the hashtag LMS Lightning. That's our um, that's our hashtag. So we use that on Twitter. We use that on Instagram. So a lot of our teachers have Instagram accounts. So that's something um, that what we found is that very good for the kids that kids love you know they're on instagram uh, so uh, they do engage with us there um, and I, I was as a principal i will tell you that you know there are downsides to social media um, and we do spend a lot of time re-educating kids on you know digital citizenship and things like that so we, we do try to use that as a learning opportunity but honestly these tools are out there they're free they um will I think transform the way that the community uh, views and engages with you, you know, as as a school. And you know, sometimes you have to put things out there, you know, that have tough conversations. And um, you know, I think when when you look at that from the principal's perspective, at least then you know also what people are saying, you know, about you or your school. I've had times where um, you know people have made comments and things like that, and I will you know, pick up the phone and, and have a conversation with them, you know, regarding, you know, uh, comments on Facebook and things like that so that we could come to an understanding. But um, mostly, I would say, our engagements have been very positive and it really helps out, um, like I said, creating that digital footprint that's so important, um, you know, for this school. And when you look at the data that I shared with you before, there's so many awesome things that you can say, listen, this is working. We're getting that message out there. It doesn't take really much time. And like I said before, I feel like as the principal, you know, it is your responsibility to you know, tell your school story and to use uh, Eric Scheninger, who I'm a big fan of. He's a former uh, principal you know, in New Jersey. Now he goes and speaks throughout the world. You know, he always says that if you don't tell your story, somebody else will. Or if you don't tell your story, who will? You know, and that's the thing that I try to impart with the staff as much as I can. Because um, I know sometimes, you know, it's, we all get busy, you know, and, and they may forget to like send me something or take a picture of a learning event. But um, it's really important for us to, to get that information out there. Um, you know, newspapers aren't always able to come out and cover stories. So, like I said, I think it's, it's in our best interest to get that message out there. And it really doesn't take much time. And I feel like as a principal, it keeps me more connected from what's going on. So maybe if I'm not necessarily at a certain event or I'm not in a classroom when an, event, when a, when an awesome learning event is going on, um, at least I'll know about it and I'll be able to, you know, to, to convey that message to parents, students, our teachers, you know, and our, and our community.
So I want to thank you so much for uh, being part of this Digital Learning Day, featuring all the great things that are going on at Melville Public Schools. Um, check out the hashtag MPSWC uh, for our, our district's hashtag. Um, as I said before, our school hashtag is LMS Lightning. And um, hopefully we'll see you on uh, social media very soon. Thank you for your uh, participation today. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.